spooky. It's the month of spookiness and scary skeletons and whatever. It's, it's October. It's Halloween's coming up. So I wanted to play a spooky game. And the spooky game I wanted to play was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And the only reason why is because when it comes to horror games, the most effective ones that I play are ones that you can experience in virtual reality. And this game, to my knowledge, is the only one that has VR support. I think Resident Evil Village is getting VR support at some point in the future. I don't know that for sure. But at the moment, the only one that's available to play in VR is Resident Evil 7. So I figured, and this, is, this game has been on my radar for a while anyway. Because I saw, I think it was Jacksepticeye and Markiplier that did playthroughs of it a couple years ago. And I started watching the first episode and I thought, this game looks interesting to me. I will stop watching this LP and come back when I play the game myself. And then I never actually did that. So it, I, I wanted to play it for a while and now I figure, what the hell, right? I'll boot up the old PSVR headset and, uh, and give it a go. So that's what we're here doing today. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. We're just going to... We're just gonna jump into it. We're gonna start the game. Uh, take it easy on just your average difficulty. We'll go normal. Start with the VR mode tutorial. You can change advanced settings and play the VR mode tutorial later for the options menu. I recommend. Sure, let's let's do that. I really don't know how this is gonna record. Oh dear lord. Ah, this might be a bad idea. Yeah. So um, when you're when you play a horror game in VR, there's nowhere to run. You can't look away from the screen or anything. You just you're in this world. You are fully immersed into it. So, uh, also, there's a thing where what you see in the headset doesn't properly translate to what you see in the recording. So, like, in my in my headset right now, the text block, the text screen is perfectly centered. I don't know if that's the case. Like, I, I don't know if looking down like this will make it more centered for you. I think I remember having to do that for some games. I'm not sure. So, hopefully this isn't too unbearable for you. Get yourself in a comfortable position and press and then hold options. Okay, let's do that. I did it. Holding register, yep, that's the case with every other game I've ever played. There are red markings on the top, bottom, right, and left sides of the room. Turn your head and focus on them one by one. Oh, so it's literally just the Halo tutorial. Okay. Quite literally just the Halo tutorial. Okay, we got it. Use the on the wireless control to move. Yeah, so this is what I don't like about VR. Uh, or at least the this these types of VR games is where you're your ability to like moving while m moving without moving your body if that makes sense like using the stick to move without actually physically moving your body can be somewhat disorient like the locomotion there is a little disorienting especially if you add the right stick into the mix and then you can you can look around with two different modes of rotation that's when things get really really jank Moving while objects or walls are within close sight may cause discomfort. The white lines around you will give you a better understanding of distances in the virtual world around you that can be turned on or off in the options menu. Use... Okay, that's not... that bad. You can turn moving your head, but when you can't turn them that you like, use R instead. Okay, that's... that's actually not that bad. Because... Uh, pushing... That up will set your head's current facing direction as the default forward facing position. Alright, cool. Yeah, that, that's actually not as bad as the, the quick turning is not quite as disorienting as it usually is. Usually what happens is, you, is you're given complete free reign. Like, you can use the right stick to look around like you would if you're just playing a first person shooter game regularly. Which is not what this is. This is quick turning, so it's like your brain knows exactly how much you're going to turn. And it's short and it's efficient. I like that. Okay. I'm feeling more comfortable about this, because the, the one element of this is obviously the fact that it's, it, it's going to be terrifying, knowing that you, you can't run away from whatever's going to jump out at you. But also, it's the fact that like, I might get genuinely... Because I'm pretty good with VR motion sickness. There's only a couple games that have made me like j legitimately nauseous to play. And the common factor b with all of them is a disconnect between what, what my head is doing and what the player character is doing with the controller, so... Yeah, that's, uh, this game seems to have avoided that so far. Although, I, I will say, uh, PSVR is not quite as, as high def as I remember it being. I, I guess I'll talk a little bit more about that when I, uh, actually get into the game proper. Many VR mode related settings available in the options menu once you get used to VR mode, adjusting not experience. Yeah, cool. 
This is the end of the VR mode tutorial. When using VR mode, we recommend that you take breaks at regular intervals. If you begin to feel uncomfortable or tired, stop using VR mode immediately. Cool. Thanks for the heads up, friend. Hey, oh my god, okay. I just wanted to <laughs> Not a great to start. <laughs> Good news, I'm gonna be coming home soon. Yay! Not a great start. I wanna get jump scared. I cannot wait to be done with this, By this. job and come home to my loving husband. Could you move a little bit further away from the camera, please? Just like I gotta two going. inches. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Uh, you, you good there, friend? Ethan. You were right. That's a nope. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. That's a solid nope. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Yeah, <laughs> guess what Ethan's not gonna do, <laughs> otherwise. This game wouldn't exist. Guess what we're gonna... We're notoriously bad at listening to instructions, particularly when it involves matters of life and death. Whatever the option that will result in the quickest possible demise will be the one Hello? we choose. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Guessing this is all pre-rendered and that's why it's not actually why I'm not in VR mode right now. Am I am I gonna cut to now that I step out of the yeah, okay, yeah, that yep, that's what I expected to happen. I have no body. I am I am lit wow, uh um uh um um <laughs> <What? laughs> Okay <laughs> Trophy unlock, you've discovered you have no arms. Alright, yeah, okay, so uh, story time. When I, my first VR headset ever was the PSVR. I didn't get the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift or anything. The one that I got as a kid, or I when I was in high school, the one that I got was, was the PSVR. Because it, I, it was the only one, it was the, it was the cheapest one that we could afford. And it, I, it was, I, my, my PC wasn't powerful enough at the time to be able to actually support something like the Vive or the, or the Rift and the Quest 2, which is entirely independent and doesn't rely, it does it functions without the presence of a, of a computer, didn't exist yet. This was the best option we had available to us, and because it was all I knew, I was, I was sort of like, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't say I was a fanboy of it, but I was very willing to come to the defense of it when it was, when it came under fire, because it was pretty much unanimously agreed upon to be like the worst of the VR headsets. Which I, I was never like, I never liked uh, hopping on that bandwagon because I quite liked my time with the PSVR. I enjoyed, I, I, I enjoyed using it quite a lot. And I, I in fact, I, I will never forget the magic of putting this thing on for the very first time. And uh, just, because I had never, I had never done VR before. My, my first time, like, putting some of headset like this on my head and being able to, exist in a virtual world like this. I'd never done anything like that before in my life, and it was just, it completely blew my mind. It was so amazing. So because of that, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. What are you guys talking about? PSVR is great. Uh, but the old, now that I'm at, accept her gift, what if I don't? Her, her gift, her, whoever, her, her gift probably involves a lot of death. Also, I don't actually know where I'm going right now. I'm just kind of following the path, hoping that it eventually leads me somewhere useful. That's that's the current game plan. 
Also, I have to periodically check to make sure we're still recording because I don't trust this at all. So I think because it was my first VR headset, because I was like so new to VR, I never ex ah, Hi, you don't hear a thing. You didn't hear the leaves crunching. You didn't see me. Nope. Everything. We're just we're just chilling. We're just we're just Barbosa chilling is what we're doing right here. And because of all those factors, I was like, I was willing to come to the defense of it, not necessarily on its merit, just because I I hadn't experienced anything better. And, and I would I would still say that for a budget VR headset, as someone's, like, st uh, baby steps into the world of virtual reality, it's a pretty damn good deal. Like, I, w I would still readily say, if it's, if it's all you can afford, it's a great alternative and I wouldn't want to knock it. But now that I've experienced things like the Quest 2 and the HTC Vive, looking at the, the screen resolution is like, yeah, this is uh, not exactly fantastic. So... You know, I guess I've sort of come around to that a little bit. Those are birds. Birds mean death and destruction and probably loads of horrible diseases. What the hell is this? Don't poke out my eyes, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that was going to happen, too. Like, there's no... <laughs> Another great omen of things to come. Obviously, what what's going to happen when you approach the flock of birds? They're going to all fly away and make a loud noise. And yet, what, and what, what, ha what happened to exactly that? And even though I knew it was going to happen, it still scared me anyway. So that's, uh, that's fantastic. Anyway, uh, bad day for you. I'm just gonna, just gonna go a different direction. Can I, is this the crouching tutorial? I'm circling this circle that, ah, what? Oh, dude, I don't like that. Can I change that? Can I, uh, d d smooth crouching? Yes, please. Please give me smooth crouching. Thank you. I said thank you. I said I said thank you. But why? Oh. I guess I guess I needed I needed to cut forward to to crouch under something. Uh, why is it R three? That's so weird. I also don't like how quickly you crouch down. I I guess it's gonna be important for tense gameplay scenarios so I I can survive. But uh. Yeah, I don't, it's a little too jarring for my taste. I, I think that's the same house, hopefully. Also, I'm not, I'm still not over, I have no body, I just have arms. That's all I got. Ow! Oh. I'll be honest, I thought that, I thought that was gonna kill me for a second. I thought the, the sudden fade to black was gonna just straight up kill me. Is that? What was her name? Mia? I already forgot. I think it's Mia. Mia's purse? I don't know. Driver's license. I, I have I have acquired driver's license. Trophy get. You can now drive. You can commit vehicular manslaughter. Email from Mia. A printout of the email from your wife who's been missing for three years. Mia's driver's license is covered in a strange black substance. I guess I could equip this to one of the quick select things, but is there really a situation where I'm going to need to quickly pull out Mia's driver's license? I don't think so. But I did hear rumblings inside that house. And I don't like the fact that I heard rumblings inside that house. So, uh... Yeah, not... Mm, well, there's a light on. Yeah, that's, that's good news. Man, you could at least bring a friend with you. I mean, I, I get the desire to just... Oh, God, why would... No, 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 no. So much no. What, no, no! It does. You, this not. They can't see anything in here. Wait, what? Uh, it, it, it just got a whole lot brighter here, for no apparent reason, and I don't. I don't like that. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I cannot. What? I I really don't like- I haven't even gone inside the house yet, and I already hate it. I already hate this. Oh. Alright, fine. Duh. Oh, you, you could've turn- You know, you could've turned on the light before I walked in here. That might've been something worth considering. Oh. Anyway, what I was saying- you could at least bring a friend- like, I get the desire to charge headfirst into danger to rescue your wife, believe me. 
I get wanting to put yourself through hell for the people you love. But like it's dangerous to go alone. I don't it doesn't it's it you seemed pretty calm about it on the phone call. Could have brought a friend, brought a family member, brought like, I don't know, a turtle, something, anything. Ugh. Ugh. Me no like. Okay. I thought something was... You know, it's really weird to watch this... I, so I, I thought there was some supernatural entity that was messing with the damn chair. Because I don't have legs. So when I walked into it like that, it just looked like it... Was moving on its own. What's inside? Ugh. No. Alright, let's, let's pretend I dev never opened that. Oh, stop doing that! I swear, the biggest jump scares are caused by my own my own actions so far. Over 20 missing in two years. Well, uh, methinks uh, we might be about to make 21. Uh, why did I? I already know what's inside this. Why did I open it again? Oh, I should also mention it's like almost midnight when I'm recording this, which is like the worst time to record a VR horror game in the middle of the damn. No well, I guess middle of the night would be more like two or three a.m. Could I? Oh wow, the, the top floor of this house is not loaded in yet. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to peek my head out. Yeah, I'm not- I'm definitely not supposed to be able to peek my head out like this. So these both seem horrible, right? Because that way is just death, and then that way there's a big flashy red thing, and also I can't actually see what's up there either, so uh... Let's go upstairs, why not? At least there's light up here. You know? This looks... Slightly more civilized. Hello. Ah. Uh, it's not responding. Yeah, cool. Ooh. Oh, it's a sit. Okay. I was wondering what just happened there. I, th I thought it was going to be like an audio log or something. But no, it's just a just a save station. Okay. Well, that's that's also fine by me. But also it gives me reason to be concerned because why specifically here would you uh would you want me to save? Huh. I hate it. Also, I think... Yeah, okay, so me turning my head around is causing my invisible feet to shuffle on the floor. But it's made because I can't see myself, it's making me think that it's something else. And I'm kind of freaking out. I don't think I didn't hear that. How big is this house again? Oh god. Ugh. Wait. Is this where I came in? Did I come in through this door? I... I genuinely don't know. I think maybe? Yeah, this, this is where I... No, it's not. This is not where I came in. This is a new room. Creepy ass pictures. There's a TV. Oh, was... You know, maybe I don't want to make noise. Like, playing musical instrument. Hi. Oh, there's a thing missing. Okay, we need a thing. We need a thing to do a thing. Anyone got any things lying around? Any spare things you're not using? Is this a thing? Nope, it's just another picture. Got a flare for photography, I suppose. Hi. That's a fan. Can I pull it? Sure can't. Also, I'm probably nowhere near the mic. I'm, I'm leaning my head all over the place. I have no clue how close I am to the microphone right now, so... I, I mean, I can't be that far, because I'm still in my same chair, but, like, I don't know. I'm like, turning my head around. Uh... Oh. This. Right. Okay. Well, at least when I'm in this, it means I can't be jump-scared, right? Also, I need to recenter. So I can actually... Uh... Ow, 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 that ow, ow. Ow. Ooh. Ay! Oh. Hey, guy, give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Remember that thing I said about how... This new guy? I'm not feeling it. How I can't be scared, or jump scared, or killed when I'm in the... when I'm in that Dude, movie man. mode? Well, guess we'll what? Through the inside first, then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? Never do this. Never film 
sewer gators. Another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. Stop going to abandoned ass creepy houses in the middle of nowhere to film your stupid documentaries with magical swinging swing sets. That was very witty. Swinging swing, se swing sets. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. I mean, hey, at least I'm with friends this time, so I feel less alone. The swing set's mad. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? I I'm gonna go with yes. I'm gonna check the yes box on my answer sheet. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. All great reasons to never be here. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> I don't like the subtitles clipping into their bodies. Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. You didn't step in anything. Shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? What? How did... Uh... Ah. Um, how did that, how did that happen? Clancy, you see where Andre went? No, I, I don't, I did not. I'm not taking my eyes off you for another fucking second. Where is he? Unfucking believable This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Yeah, that's the plan. I like how I said I'm not taking my eyes off you for another second, and I immediately take my eyes off you. So that I can keep an eye over my shoulder to make sure there's nothing else that's... What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Must have been the wind. This light is worthless! Okay. Most worthless flashlight to have ever been invented. Look at- like it did- I may as well not even have one. Honestly. Andre, where are you, man? I hate this. Have I mentioned how much I fucking hate this yet? <laughs> I don't like it at all. What the hell? Yeah, 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 cool. There's a fire. Okay, back against the wall so that I can. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, great. A uh, fantastic. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Oh, you think? Yes, let me place my back against the wall, me. You know, the logic being that surely if I make it so that I'm facing the doorway, nothing can sneak it from behind me. And then what happens two seconds later? The one spot on the wall where the secret passageway opens up. Great. I'm so glad I decided to hitch myself to your stupid wagon. Alright. No, I didn't want to- Oh. No, 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 no. No, that was- Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. How much you want to bet you're going to get yanked away as soon as I get to the bottom? How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet that you get yanked away as soon as I get to the bottom of this actual shithole? What do you see? What is it? I don't... It, it's just a shithole. It, it's just actually... Oh, I don't... I don't like that. Oh. Yep, yep, oh, oh god. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, great. Jesus. Oh, he speaks. All right, so how did he do that? What did he interact with in the fireplace to make that happen? That. 
Okay. You know, why not follow in the footsteps of death? I will say, though, consider my expectations subverted. I thought for sure that yeah, they were going to... The hell? Oh. Camera positioning is a bit weird whenever I go into these. I get the sense this was... Well, guess I'm not going back that way. This is so... Like, the atmosphere here is fantastic so far, and then I see my, my chopped off arm wiggling around the floor, and I'm like, you know? I, I get the sense that th maybe this wasn't fully thought out for VR mode, and that it, it kind of was... Actually, how closely was the release of this tied to the release of... Um... How closely was the release of this game tied to the release of the PSVR? Because now I'm starting to wonder if this was originally intended as being just another Resident Evil game. But then Sony was like, I'm, I believe this is... Because, like, if this was... You can get this game on Steam, but I don't think you can actually play it in VR on Steam. I'm pretty sure that it's exclusive... That the VR mode is exclusive to PlayStation consoles. So either PS4 or PS5 through backwards compatibility. In which case... Oh, no. No, no, no. So much no. In which case, it wouldn't surprise me if this was going to be its own thing. No VR mode. And then Sony was like, we'll pay you the big bucks if you make it a VR thing, but only for PSVR. Because, what? Well, yeah, no, just just don't look back. So, rule, rule one, if you don't turn around, nothing can, it, it can't get you. If you don't look at the thing, it can't harm you. That's just, that's just basics. Yeah. Um. Alright. What's this? You know what, don't care. I don't have time to read. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and cut those bolts. Cause like, the atmosphere here is fantastic. I love the atmosphere. I'm- uh, I hate those noises! Legitimately- Oh wait, she's in there! Oh, I didn't even see- Oh, okay. Mission over, I found her. Now please don't eat me. And also please don't be dead. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me, it's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Like, it's genuinely really, really strong atmosphere that you can clearly, you can tell by my, Where are you taking me? my voices. Someplace safe. Freaked the hell out of me. On? Can we move it along a bit? Not the time! Go! Mo I don't know who Daddy is, but I guarantee you I don't want to meet him. Go! Move! Can you walk faster than one mile per year, please? What are you doing? Why are you slower than Silver in Sonic 06? What they do here? Not now. We need to get out of here first. Great idea. So move! Anyway, yeah, you get the things like the camera kind of- Because she wasn't looking at me exactly during that- s Oh my god, that's so gross. Her, her eyesight- Her eye line didn't perfectly match up with where my- Where I was. Obviously you have the floating hands and the lack of a body. Just generally it doesn't perfectly translate into VR. Not now we don't! Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. Can we did. just go? Fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. Fucking move! We have to go this way. Do I still have those bolt cutters? I sure do. Don't make me bolt cut your ass if you don't move it a little faster, please. Are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Can we stop with the talking, please? Oh, great. Yeah, this is my favorite part of every game. I... Uh, no, 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 don't like that. Okay, nothing happened. I thought for sure... That, that's usually the part where they get you, is where they cram you down the shimmy hallway, and then something jumps out at you. There. 
It's there. What's there? Oh. This is it. Oh, what a nice, homely little living room. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. I uh, don't. If, if if that doll moves. It's gone. We're gonna be a family now that you're here. What? There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Uh. Mia. 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 We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, all right? I'm gonna have a look around. Uh, yeah, that sounds like the worst idea you've ever had in your life. I guarantee you I come back and she's gone. I guarantee- If I- I swear, if, the, if this doll gets up and moves at any point- No, leave me alone! I- What the- What did I fucking tell you? What did I fucking tell- No one listens to me! No one ever- this is why, this is why, yeah, yeah, big brain plays from Ethan, five seconds after you get Mia back, what do you do? You leave her alone in a room, amazing, fantastic. Oh, oh, please, open the door, please. Oh my god, and of course now it's raining. The phone, the phone is ringing. Okay, like, the phone's in my face right now. Oh good, a map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Yay. I know. I know where I'm going now. Sort. Ah. I keep hearing these noises and I don't like them. Okay. Nothing in the bathroom. Uh, anything can. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh. You hear that, right? I don't, I don't- I don't think I like that. I'm assuming that's the door I came in from, right? This is such a bad idea. Um... No. 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 Don't- stop. Other way! Other way! Other fucking direction! Other fucking direction! Now! Leave! Leave! What are you doing? Oh my- Okay! Hi! Hi! Oh my god! Um, 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 uh, what- Uh, R2 to resist! Okay, 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 okay! I I'm pushing R2 to- Oh my god! Huh, huh, huh! Uh, um, okay, can I- Wait! Huh, huh, huh! Resisting! Resisting! I'm pushing the R2 button! I don't- I, I can't- I can't turn around! I'm- I'm stuck! My instant gear is to run, but I can't! I can hear her! I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me! Get out! Leave me alone! I've been bad. I deserve this. What the fuck are you, Mia? Oh my god. Um. Uh. Okay. So, uh. I guess it's confession time. I, I kinda had a feeling that was gonna happen eventually, because I have played the demo of this game. But the thing is, the demo of this game so far is actually not representative of all of what the game actually is like. The demo is, is sort of like a cold open, where you just, like, sit in a, uh... Oh, yes. Yeah, just pour first aid med over your gaping knife wound. That'll, that'll do the trick. But, um... You just, you, you sit in a room, tied to a chair, and then some other guy comes up... And tries to cut you loose. Oh wait, what? Whoa, whoa. Hi. Oh my God. Where am? Okay. Um. 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 What? Am, where, where can I go? 
I, I can't move. I cannot move. I cannot move. I can't move. Oh, I mean, I can, but not. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, attack. Attack. Yee. I don't want to attack you, but also I kind of just met you, so I don't feel too bad about it. My god. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Ugh. Ezreal? Are you dead? Oh, don't, don't, don't you start with the fucking phone now. Don't start ringing the goddamn phone. I don't want to talk to anybody. Don't, if I pick it up and you say hello, hello, I'm going to break the phone. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. I'm guessing that's the door I couldn't open before that just opened. Oh! <laughs> of course! Of course she's gone! Just, you turn away for a split second after getting cleaved in the throat and she's gone. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop. We're gonna pause right there. And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna take a little break from this game. Alright, so if I can complete what I was saying earlier, I kind of expected that she was gonna turn evil or possessed at some point because the, de the demo shows you a lady who looks very similar to Mia. All, like, possessed and evil and, ha and, and all that kind of stuff. And then she, she kills the guy that tries to cut you loose. And then she kills, well, she doesn't, well, she, they don't show her killing you. But the demo... She gets up in your face, and then the guy attacks her, and then to try to save you, and then she drags him off screen, stabs him very violently, and then you just hear her crawling around until the demo ends with her dropping in front of your like suspended from the ceiling like Spider-Man, hanging in front of your face with the knife pointed at you. the The sound effects swell, and then it cuts to black, and then the implication is that she stabs you to death. But uh, so and then when I saw Mia in the opening, was like, all right, that kind of looks like the girl in the in the demo. So yeah, I can't can't say that was too much of a surprise, but like, it didn't make it any less terrifying. Anyway, yeah, um, this is great so far. Genuinely, I, I don't think it would have the same impact on me if I wasn't playing in VR. But because I am playing it in VR, it's goddamn horrifying, and I can't wait to play more. Well, I say that, but I also don't want to play more because I need to I need to pace this out so that I don't lose my mind. Okay, yeah, uh, great atmosphere, and honestly, really smooth VR controls. And the thing is, the, the resolution wasn't spectacular outside, like the, the fidelity of the leaves and the foliage and, the, and all that stuff, not great. But the thing is, I'm assuming that most of this game is going to take place inside the mansion or wherever this is. And inside the mansion looks great, well, maybe not looks great, but looks good, looks decent enough to where it's not distracting so yeah uh standard horror movie stuff where it's like maybe don't maybe don't hang around here forever maybe don't uh take your eyes off each other and maybe maybe, maybe just don't film the documentary in the creepy abandoned village monster mansion thing in the middle of the forest at 3 a.m in the morning maybe, 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 maybe don't maybe hey it's not worth the tiktok revenue just maybe maybe consider a different line of work i don't know but yeah loving it so far i'm glad i finally got around to playing it uh and yeah the demo so far is nothing like the actual game it, it's, it is really just a cold open to be like this looks interesting doesn't it but it's not it's not a, a gameplay demo in the style of i guess i guess it's kind of similar to here they lie the demo for that game because the demo for that game i played a little bit of, of the the real game after i played the demo not on the channel still my own time and the real games was not, didn't, from what I played, didn't have the demo in it at all. I, it may have been in the game at some point, but it wasn't in what I played of it. Uh, so it just kind of drops you in at a random point, and then that, it, that's enough, to, that should be enough to get you into it. 
but in that case it actually had gameplay whereas that the demo i played was just purely you sit there and then things happen around you and you can't really control it but uh yeah i think that's all i wanted to say the, the only other things i have to say is that clearly the transition from from non-vr mode to vr mode isn't flawless in a lot of areas just whenever you do anything scripted the, the camera will like jarringly cut to one position and it doesn't perfectly line up with where i was standing so like when I push, when I went to go hit the button and it said it wasn't responding, that wasn't perfect where I was standing. I have no body, obviously, which is a little weird. Mia's eyesight wasn't lining up with where I was looking. The phone, when when he picked up the phone, it was in, literally inside my face. So little, little things like that kind of rip you out of the experience. And then there's also when I was coming out of the the flashback found footage thing. Most of it was in VR mode, which is great. You got to live it out in in real time. But then right at the end, right, right, right when it counts, right when they, they, they reveal, when the big release of the tension comes, when they show the guy's body falling over, it cuts you out of VR mode, which kind of took me out of the moment, unfortunately. But overall, fantastic stuff so far. And I, I both am really looking forward to and really dreading playing more of this. Oh, I, I guess combat's whatever. Combat's just, you whack people with, with sticks, but that's... It's all you really need for a game like this. The the focus should definitely not be on the combat for like I, I the the focus should be on the atmosphere and and the scares less so on just a, a proper robust combat system. It, it gets the job done well enough. So uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Hope to catch you all soon for the next episode of Resident Evil Seven VR. Goodbye.